Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Um, I've been sick for the last couple of weeks. I sprained my ankle and I've had the flu. So my husband has been filling in. So thank you for filling in for me. So today we're going to be cooking and trying the new Trader Joe's plant-based burgers. Um, I am not a fan of meat-like substitute things. Um, I prefer more vegetable tasting burgers, but we figured we'd give these a try and see how they cook up and what they taste like. So if you want to see if they are vegan approved, stay tuned. So let's talk calories. So it's 290 calories per patty, 590 for the container. Your total fat is 20 grams. Your saturated fat is three grams. And your trans fat is zero, thank God. Um, your sodium is what I would consider high, 450 milligrams, so it's 20% of your daily sodium intake. It's 11 carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, so net six. Net six. Um, total sugars is less than one, which is no added sugars. And your protein is 18 grams of protein. I know the Beyond Meat Burger, I think, is like 20, I think. 20 or it, it's high. And I believe the Beyond Meat Burger is less calories and less carbohydrates. So if that's something that you're, lo you're worried about, the Beyond Meat would be a better option for you. Um, so let's get to cooking these. Our patties. We're going to put them on our hot skillet. Let's talk about these for a second. So they're a pea protein fiber. There's beets in there for color. Um, oat fiber, fruit juice, I'm assuming for color. Onion powder, sea salt, and vegetable juice, both for color. There's also a thing I cannot pronounce. Methyl cellulose. I don't know what that is. But I know that they're gluten free. So we're just gonna let these cook for a few minutes on each side. Okay, so it says to cook them for three to four minutes um, on each side. I've already flipped them once. Um, these look very similar to the original Beyond Meat burgers before Beyond Meat did the bigger, meatier burger. Um, I liked those originally. I'm not a fan of the new flavor, um, but my, chase, my tastes have changed since being vegan for three years. Um, I once sent the Impossible Burger back in a restaurant because I thought it was real meat. So I think that they're about done. So I'm gonna plate these up and we are going to try them. So this is our completed burger. Um, I have barbecue sauce on it. Obviously, I'm using a gluten-free bun. So I am gonna taste this and give you my honest to God first impressions. Okay. So my honest first impression is, hey, is that it tastes very much like meat. Um, I'm not a fan of the way meat tastes anymore. So if you're just becoming vegan, these may be something that you're willing to try. Um, they are $4.99, which is a good, pretty good price for um, a meat substitute at Trader Joe's. Um, I'm curious on what Stuart's thoughts are going to be on it. Uh, so... We're gonna get short thoughts in a second. All right, so I'm about to take my first bite of the Trader Joe's uh, plant-based uh, burger. Uh, looks actually like raw meat to me, but uh, I'm gonna dive in. It's not bad. <laughs> It's very similar to the original Beyond Meat burgers. Uh, it wouldn't shock me if Beyond Meat actually made these burgers. Um, 
slightly different um, taste, but the texture is very similar. Um, they're okay. I'm not a huge fan of the Beyond Meat burgers. I like the Impossible Burgers better. Uh, but in the absence of having Impossible Burgers available to us to cook at home, um, this is an excellent substitute. I'm going to take another bite. Mm. They make an excellent lunch. Um, clearly my dog is fooled by the uh, burger here. So if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Um, the notification bell. I, and I'm being told something. I don't know what this means. What? Oh, and don't forget to go to our first video to learn how you can win um, Isa Chandra Moskowitz's I Can Cook Vegan Cookbook. Thank you and enjoy.